What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on the main account, and because we did a little bit more treasure train this week, uh, I'm gonna see what this hero can do for us in Sealand, because as you guys know, we have been previously stuck on another one that was Sealand uh, 35, just like we were stuck here with Queen, uh, it's very similar-ish with the Hyperspace Hunter Islamok, granted we don't really have any other support heroes, on this squad except we'll throw in whoever we can we'll activate that we'll have a burn synergy i don't know if this is really going to do much for us but i guess we can give it a try and see what happens um yeah let's let's just let's see it could be an easy clear it might be a difficult clear i don't know we're probably gonna have to build him more offensive though because of course he's not that great of a well I mean, that basic attack hit pretty hard. Because you gotta remember, we're getting a ton of sea land stats now that we've done a grand total of 500 treasure train tickets in this event. Now, we do go second, um, but the damage seems to be adding up pretty nicely. Of course, when he does get twined, that's gonna be really bad for us because he doesn't do anything besides just generate shield. <laughs> uh, it does seem like the crown is a bit overkill, though, I'd say. I think if we literally went with an offensive stat line with like a melodic strings, I think that might just win this for us right here. Crit armor break, I still kind of like. Uh, we could probably just go for balance strike as well and probably go with, no, crit chance, I like that. I like this setup. Uh, crit damage is at 91. That should be pretty decent considering we're getting a bunch of other stats we have 61 percent damage reduction already but we're going to get even more from the treasure train i think we're up to what we almost got the treasure train treasure maxed out which is this one here uh we're getting another 10 percent, and then of course we're getting more armor break precision skill damage uh, i think we're even getting a decent amount of block right yeah 27 percent block which is pretty big so uh, let's see if we can go offensive on this one and actually survive and maybe get a victory in Celian 35. That would be pretty cool. I mean, he does generate a lot of shielding, so being a little more squishy isn't the worst thing in the world. The only bad thing is if we do get crowd control. Being crack, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd say this made a bit of difference doing these 500 ticks this week. Now, we might still die here because, of course, we're still squishy. Yeah. Um, to be fair, I think we should go back to uh, Unbending Will. Because from the looks of it, the damage is definitely there. We can definitely, definitely be fine with the damage that we're doing. Uh, we could probably go Augustus Magic Ball as well, like a splitted A and B. And that would probably give us a very similar end outcome here. Yeah, so basically the same outcome with that active skill. <laughs> but this time we have Unbending Will to save our life if we need it, which we probably will right here. Oh, well, we get another round at least. Oh, that really hurt. Uh-oh. No, 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 wait, wait, hold on. Let's go first. Let's, let's go, let's go right here, right here. Oh, no, the boss is alive, but we, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, the twine. Come on, man. We can definitely get this done. It's going to take a few attempts, I think. I think we can get this done. I doubt that the stuns are gonna stick, but you never know. Uh, everybody instantly got full shielding right there, which is kind of cool. If anything, I think they die because they attack into the fairy guard and the fairy guard does so much damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, this might take some tries, but it's definitely, definitely possible with a melodic strings, I think. It's just so much round one damage. Yes, we're going after the boss, but like. Maybe going with a crit, crit attack stone is better. I don't know. Ooh, if we can kill off that one target right there, that would be awesome. Hopefully the poison is strong enough. End of round. It's not. Oh, no. Oh, God. We already off. Oh, <laughs> the fairy card is just slaughtering us. Let's do one or two more with the melodic strings. We'll see if it'll work. If it doesn't work, then we'll swap it up. That was not great. We need a lot less enemies alive. Holy cow. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was expecting to happen. So if that's not going to work, let's switch on over and go with an A and B strategy. We can continue doing crit armor break. 
because again i like the armor break we're we're over 100 percent which i guess that's without anything here too 70 percent block chance is already at oh my god what do, why do i have block right here <laughs> let's change that to crit damage maybe no because now we have wasted crit damage Maybe just holy damage because we do a lot of hits or precision. Let's see what our precision is at. Yeah, precision should be a better one. That's going to give us a lot more stats. Uh, and now we should be pretty tanky as well because we have an AMB, which should make him very, very tanky. Of course, it's going to take more than the couple of rounds at this point. Uh, we're still going to get around. Nope, we're not going to get around one active. We're going to round two active looks like because the boss hits the back line. But, I mean, the basic attack did a lot. Honestly, if we go to Balance Strike now, that might be the better option than Unbending Will because you guys can see uh, the combination of the damage reduction we're getting for Augustus Magic Ball, Splendid, and, of course, our Treasure Train minus attack. I think it's like 90%. Oh, my gosh. We're just going to get completely twined to death, though, is the issue here. We're just not going to be able to attack because there's too many targets alive. There's too many seeds. <laughs> oh hey wait hold on wait we're on cc let's see what happens here all the way up to round nine holy cow we've only attacked like twice oh <laughs> yeah i guess uh i guess that really added up one no one trillion damage billion billion tri yeah one trillion damage right there so we got another steel land 35 done the only one that's left at this point is forest now forest is definitely going to be a lot more difficult um this puts you back to the way you were before <laughs> good lord the amount of block this hero has gets insane with augustus magic ball so the only other thing we need to look at now is going to be a freya clear it could go with the giant oh my god i didn't realize our freya copy was so bad that's a really bad freya copy hold on wait a minute i didn't realize our freya was like really garbage <laughs> uh let's just go with a b plus freya and see what we can find we'll go with the highest attack value one one more second um that's not bad i thought we would have seen a little bit higher so it's like 2k 1800 for a very high attack one if we add in this as well actually let's just take this out at that point how much are they 11 ish mm. I don't think that I'd rather save this up for like events or something like that. I don't know either that or next time we get a summoning session, we'll finally summon for some Freya's that way we can maybe get something a little bit more usable because I think she already like even in her current state, I think she'll be able to push much, much further. I just don't think she'll be able to push to like 34, 35, but we'll try it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.